In this session, we're going to look at our point of sale cash sale option. But I'm going to show you how to sell cascading items. Now, just to take one step back, if we go to stock and maintenance, the example I'm going to use is my Fanta and my case option. I have cascaded my Fanta case to my Fanta single. If we edit, or if I edit this item just to show you, created my Fanta, but here I said report to the Fanta single. I'll just show you. Report to Fanta single, and the conversion rate is 24, which means if I sell a Fanta case, it's going to deduct 24 items off my single case, or my, sorry, my single can item. Let me show you. I'm going to say point of sale, cash sales, and I'm first of all going to just choose a Fanta single. You see I've got 28 on hand, and what I'll do is I'll sell one. Say cash, give me 10 rand, I enter, it's attempting to print, there's my sale printed, my sale's completed. If I take you quickly back to stock inquiries and my Fanta single item, you will see I have 27 left and there is that one item I've sold. Now I'm going to show you. Go back to cash sales and we're going to sell Fanta case. I'm going to select my Fanta case. I'm going to process my sale, conclude the sale. Waiting for it to print. Sales concluded. Now, let me take you back to stock inquiries. I'm going to double click on my single can again. And immediately, you will see, hang on, I now have three items left, which means it has deducted 24 items from my original amount. If we look at our Fanta case, you will see that there's no transactions connected to the Fanta case. We've basically said that Fanta case is not a main item and doesn't stand by itself. All Fanta case's transactions must be under the single case. And that concludes looking at how to sell cascading items.